Hey guys! <laughs> oh my goodness! Welcome back to I Dream of Wigs and thank you for stopping in. My name is Missy and I'm with TL Wigs. Today I'm going to be showing you Ellen Villa's Jamila Plus in this color of light honey. Is it uh, yes, light honey rooted. I'm sorry. So I've got a lot to go over on this. I want to show you all how she looks out of the box right on my head and what we're going to do to make this more wearable, I guess. So stick around and I'm going to give you all the details on Jamila Plus and stick around until the end. I may have a discount code for you to use if you're interested in purchasing Jamila Plus. So I want to uh, show you what Jamila Plus is going to look like out of the box because that's very important for a style like this. I don't want to put it on my head and start styling and make you think that this is how it comes right out of the box. No. Nine times out of ten we do have to do a little bit to our wigs right out of the box. So she comes inside out with no hairnet. This one didn't have a hairnet. And there you can see that temple to temple lace front. Now this one, I'm going to have to use some water and try and get this lace down. You can see that it's kind of buckled there and that's probably because of the way it was inside out and kind of tucked up like this in the box so here we go are you ready to see what this looks like out of the box oh my goodness curls galore she is just beautiful so I'm going to show you how to tame this beast that some people are just, you know, scared to death of. So I will walk you through step by step what I do with these beautiful ringlets. And I will show you how I wear her. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't usually laugh like this at myself, but it's been so long since I've worn Jamila Plus. I guess it's just a shock to me. This used to actually be my daily wear. Believe it or not, uh, Jamila was my absolute favorite. So I want to thank Tracy from TL Wigs for sending me this so that I could do this review. I told her that, you know, I've had many Jamila Plus and like I said, she used to be my daily wear, but I had never done a review on it because I had it before I was doing reviews. So I wanted to show you all this and kind of give you an idea of what you can do with this She's so cute. I love it. <laughs> I know there are going to be some people, though, that look at this and think, oh my gosh, that is a ton of hair. Okay, so before we get started, I just want you to know that I am going to list in my description box down below the direct product link to Jamila Plus as well as the website to TL Wigs. Click on either of those and it'll take you on over to the website where you can start shopping today. We have every major brand, almost, and most of them are always on sale um, throughout the week. So, also, come over and join us in our private Facebook group, which is TL Wigs Support, Inspiration, and Education. This is where you're going to have all of the fun, and you're going to get extra discount codes that may not be on the website. It is exclusive to our members, so please be sure and join us. And I want you to know that Tracy, the owner, 
is a very active member in our group and she is a doll. She posts her wigs all the time and it's just amazing what this gal can do with a wig. So if you need some, like I said, support, inspiration, and education, this is where you need to be. So let's dive right on into this. I want to get in here and just start styling this because you can see it is a lot, a lot, a lot of curls and a lot of volume. Now, the first thing that I want to say about a style like this with all of these curls, this is a regular synthetic, so it's not heat friendly. You're not going to be able to apply heat to it if these curls start to, you know, shrink and just go away. So you're just going to have to finger style this, okay? That's the main thing I want to point out to you. Do not take a wide tooth comb or a brush to this or you're going to get an afro even bigger than this and it's going to look like nothing but fuzz. Trust me. So don't do that. But if you do mess it up, you can always fix that by just spraying it down completely with water or soaking it in a basin of water and let it soak, do its thing, hang it up to air dry upside down. Oh, before you do that, spray some leave-in conditioner on it and just kind of scrunch it up. As it's drying, go back in and kind of like finger, you know, separate those curls because what they want to do is just bunch up together and I'm going to show you later especially in the back toward the bottom they want to separate and and they just don't want to uh, stay with the rest of it so I'm going to give you a full 360 so you can see it all the way around and this is just nothing but a shake okay nothing so you can see that bottom and kind of where I have that hole right there need to do something with that. We don't want to be walking around with a hole in our hair. Well, let me go over this color with you. The um, light honey rooted. So this is a medium honey blonde, a platinum blonde, and light golden blonde blend with darker roots. So you can see that root up there. Okay, so doesn't this just kind of remind you of an old Dolly Parton back in the day? Um, I don't know, maybe 70s. I don't, I don't quite know, but I know that there was a time when she wore the great big curly wigs. And I, I just used to just oh, love it because I've always loved curls. So, and it also reminds me of the gal... Uh, Kimberly in Little Big Town. I'll post a picture here and you can let me know for yourself. I think it does. So, okay, I've sprayed it down with some water and now we're going to go in here and just start styling this using some Aesthetica Revitalize and Shine wig mist. This is uh, basically a leave-in conditioner. This is what I would use on this after every wear and even before I spray, you know, a little bit on there. So generously spray some to kind of defrizz. Now, because I have kind of flipped this over, it's a little bit more poofy over here. Don't worry about that. We will take care of it. And here's my coverage. If the wind was to blow outside, no one's going to know that this is a wig. They're going to think that it is my hair if they see that because of the rooting. Let me just show you the lace front. It's always really, really good on Jamila, and I didn't have a problem with that lace that was buckled there. A little bit more of how I like to style this with some jaw clips. My fingers just have the hardest time with this. I want to leave a little ringlet down. 
This is my favorite. And once you get, you know, into the groove of styling your girls, you know what you like. And that's just what you go with. I mean, I do experiment later on. But for sake of this review, this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to take this and run my fingers through it. And see, you're going to see how it just kind of loosens that up. I leave the tuck on one side. Or if you don't want that volume, tuck it. Now, you can always smash this down. But what that's going to do is that's going to give you a compacted look. I like the curls to be more, uh, like I said, separated and take on their own individual curl rather than you know clumping up the fit on this guys i am a 22 and a half inch circumference and this fits me beautifully i would not have worn this for over a year if it didn't fit good i'm fine with this now i'm going to take the jaw clips out if my fingers will work Sorry guys, this is gonna be probably a little bit longer of a video than I wanted, but I think, like I said again, that it's important to show you all what you can do with these because seriously, if you love curls and let's say you have had thinning hair or no hair for a really long time and you decide, hey, yes, I wanna try Jamila Plus because she is right up my alley and what my bio hair used to look like. You can get this, put this on your head and be like, oh my gosh. As a matter of fact, most women that I know personally that have had Jamila Plus have said that, that it was so intimidating. But I just showed you, it's not. It's not intimidating at all. You can do this if you love curls. To me, this is, yes, it's very similar to Raquel Welch's Click Click Flash, but I've had Click Click Flash and I prefer Jamila just because of it being a regular synthetic and the way the curls hold up. You know, frizz, you don't have to worry about it. Just spray some leave-in conditioner on it. All right, I will meet you outside in the blustery cold for a quick look at this color outside. And thank you guys for stopping in and watching. Let me know if you love Jamila, what you think. Um, almost forgot the code. Missy25 at checkout is going to save you an extra amount so be sure and check it out if you would like to try jamila plus i can help you style it if you need to so i will see you guys very soon thank you so much for stopping in today all right you can see all the snow this is a dusting yeah it looks like a dusting to me this is really our first snow of the year um so there's not a whole lot of sunlight out here and it's probably a good thing because it would just blare off of the snow 